Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft and I'm finally back on YouTube Grind. Today's video is kind of a surprise. I'm starting a new series for Disco Disc version 13 and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a Discord bot from scratch. If you're superbly consistent, then I will definitely consistently upload on my channel. Uh, so you guys will be satisfied. And this tutorial is basically made for everyone who has no idea how to make a Discord bot in general. So don't worry if you don't have any knowledge regarding coding or anything, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description down below. There are a few links and things you need in order for us to continue and make our Discord bot. So make sure you check them out throughout the video and make sure to share this video, subscribe on my channel and make sure to like the video if you want more videos like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yes, don't miss a second in today's video. Every second, I'm not kidding. There might be a new thing you don't have any idea. So please watch it carefully. If I were you, I would watch it the second time. I'm not even kidding. Anyways, enough of me talking. Let's actually get into this video. The first link in the description has this website right now in front of you, which is Node.js, which which is Node.js JavaScript runtime build. We need this to install Discord.js inside of our JavaScript code. Well, Discord.js is just a library, and Node.js is a runtime build. It's a JavaScript runtime. But JavaScript is a program language itself. I hope I'm clear on this. Anyway, so we have an LTS and a current. Of course, I don't recommend current for everyone. LTS, in my opinion, is enough already. So go ahead and install ATS. Just click on this, click on save, then click on the installed content. And once you click on this installed content, it should pop up a whole installation. And I already have it installed, but go ahead and install it. It should be very straightforward. Just click next, next, next. It will install it for you. And that's pretty much it. The second thing you need is a code editor. So we have VS Code, we have Atom. I personally use VS Code. You will see throughout the video how I use it and stuff. Any code editor, even Notepad, honestly. But I mean, who would use Notepad for a code editor, right? right? Unless you do. Anyways, um, use Atom or Visual Studio Code. Then you should be able to code and stuff. So just make sure you have a code editor, basically. Then the third link in the description contains a Discord that is official website. Uh, which has the documentations, guides. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty handy website. Like, it's awesome, in my opinion. If you want to know everything about this, just make sure to check out this website. And the way to install this is like this. However, we're not going to get into the installing first because we have to set up our Discord bot first. So the first thing we need to do is first, when we install Node.js, NPM will also install alongside of it. So NPM is a package manager for installing Node packages. It's a pretty, pretty handy a package manager honestly is awesome this is pretty helpful if you want to save yourself a lot of lines of code and javascript in general so anyway so the first thing i want to do right now we're going to start on how to do this after you installed and follow the things i just mentioned go ahead and free upon your file explorer and i will recommend to make a folder anywhere and throughout your desktop for me personally i'm just going to go to my documents folder and create a new folder and i'm going to call it uh custom discord bot after you create this folder, go ahead and you open your code editor. As you can see, I have Visual Studio Code on right now. Go ahead and click on File, click on Open Folder, then go ahead into Documents, and then select Custom Discord Bot or whatever folder name you give it. Doesn't matter which location you put this folder, just put it somewhere so we can start our guide, you know. Anyways, click on this and then click on Select Folder. And then yes, I trust everyone and then maximize this page. So the first thing we do first of all is open a new terminal here. And then I will make this a little bit bigger. Then what you need to do in here is click type npm init. And what this is going to do is basically going to set up our package, the JSON, which is really important in if you want to make our Discord bot. Um, so if this command doesn't work, that means you haven't installed Node correctly. If you have, if you, if you encounter this issue, just comment down below so I can help you with it or join to our Discord server, which is easier to help. So package name, I'm just going to name it this, whatever it is default. If you hit entry, it will be default. So version one, sure. Description, I don't care. Entry point index suggest, which is the common name for the main file. And then test command, nothing. Git repository, nothing yet. Keyword, nothing. Author, puts your name, because why not? It's not really that important. But anyways, and then license this. Is this okay? Yes. And perfect. We have our package digestion, as you can see in here. So what you need to do right now is now install discord.js since we have our package.json. So go ahead into your browser. Just You can type it out yourself either way, but I'm just going to copy this so for your sake you can see it. You just have to do npm install discord.js and then hit enter. And once you install this, this is going to install 
um, this screen just for you. And it's also gonna make a new folder for your node models, which is really important if you wanna. This is basically the source code of Discord.js. So, packet the JSON latest is just version as well, version 13, which is perfect. Now we need to create a new file, and then we're gonna name it index.js. So once we have index.js, now we're ready to code our actual bot. But in today's video, I'm just gonna start off by first logging into the bot. And uh, as we go through, and maybe a test command, and as we go through out uh, other episodes, I'm definitely going to go ahead and show you guys a more advanced command as we go further and further. So the first thing you need to do in here is do const and then client. You can name it bot, but I'm just going to call it client. And then we're just going to first require Discord before this though. So I'm going to delete this. We do the const Discord is equal to new. Um, I'm sorry, require discord.js. What we're doing here is basically requiring discord.js instead of our code. So whenever we use discord in our code, it requires discord.js. So we're gonna do it and do we're gonna go ahead and do const client equals to new discord the client. And then there we go. So Discord is version 13 requires intents. You have to require intents for your Discord bot as well. So we're going to stop right here and now we're going to set up our Discord developer application. That's going to be the fourth link in the description down below. You got to go ahead and click on that. We cannot progress yet because we need to still make a Discord bot application. So I'm just going to go ahead and here and then go to Discord developer. And once you go here, you should be able to go to applications. And I have a lot of applications. So you might have nothing or have some. But what you need to do is click on new application and then make it personal, obviously, and then make give it a name. I'm gonna give it a test bot name, I guess. Create it. Then as you can see, you have an application in here right now. But this is not a bot yet. So to make it a bot, you have to go to the bots tab after you created it. Then click on add bot, click on yes, do it. And then too many names you have using this. Of course they have. I'm gonna just gonna call it test bot 101, maybe. And go here, bot, add bot, yes, do it. And there we go. I created my bot. The reason I the reason it told me there's a lot of bots for that is because my application name was already used a lot of times. So I had to put another name for it. So yeah, anyways, I feel, as you can see, we have the token area. Please, for your sake of good, never click on this button here or don't share your token to anybody because they can actually hack your Discord account really easily. And if in case you did it, go ahead and click on regenerate as soon as possible. So scroll down and then as you can see, we have privilege intents. Click on this. Click on this and click on this. Make sure these three ticks are on because we need to intents um, for a Discord bot. And then to invite this Discord bot to your server, so you need to click on the OAuth. And in here, you need to click on UR generation, URL generator. And then click on bot here. Then select administrator as a permission and then copy this here. Then paste this in here. And what this is going to do is going to ask you to invite the bot to your Discord server. So I'm going to invite it to my personal server. Continue authorize and yes, I'm human. Perfect, it's authorized. So now, if I check my Discord server, um, I gotta check it. It's it's here, I think. Yep, perfect. Um, so in here, I have uh, my Discord bot. I think there we go. Test bot 101. My Discord bot is in my server now. It's ready to be coded. Perfect. If you have done this so far, you're on a good track. Just follow up with me, and you'll be all right. So now, what you need to do right now is specify that we need all intents because the intents are a new thing in Discord API. We need all intents to get a lot of things, but it's not recommended to get all of them, obviously, but still go ahead and do it. It's not a big deal for you. I just I just did a lot of research. Don't worry about it. You guys are beginners. You don't have to be worried about a lot of hard stuff yet. Anyway, so you, what you need to do in here is do intents, then specify the amounts of intents, the maximum amount of intents. Put this number for your intents. This will be the maximum amount of intents for Discord. Then that's it, you're done. However, we need to first specify an event and the token to log in. So it will log into our Discord bot. But for your own sake, try to not show this token to anybody. So go ahead and do client.login, then put your bot token right here. And of course, I'm gonna put my real token here and don't worry because I'm gonna reset it after today's video, but you should put this token after client.login. Yes, that's it. After you do this, your bot should technically go online. Do node dot. And once you do this, you should check your Discord bot and it should be online. Let me check it right now. And there we go. Test bot 101 is online. If you encounter into any errors or any problems, let me know in the comments or join to our Discord server. I will, I will gladly help you. But if you do this right now, as so far, 
your bot should be online with the online status. And yeah, that's pretty much it. However, we don't have an actual realization whether the bot is online or not. So we need to give this bot an event called message create. Oh, I'm sorry, ready event, not message create event yet. We need to go ahead and do client dot on. Then we need to do message. I'm sorry, ready, which means if the bot is ready, then we're going to do a console log. So we're just going to do ready. Then we need to do this. Wait, this first. Then we need to do this. Of course, we need to put a little bit of this. There we go. Perfect. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, after you, this is an event, basically. The events are really, really important in Discord just because when you have to create commands, you will definitely need events for it. And we have client alarm ready. This means when the bot is ready, this is going to happen. And we're also going to make another event, which I'm going to use yet. And that's going to be message create. That means if a message got sent or and stuff like that, then do stuff instead of the event, whatever. Anyway, so in here, we need to console.log something. We're going to do console.log bot is online. Simple as that. That means when we do no dot, it should show bot is online when the bot is online, which means the bot is ready and it's connected and perfect. Now we, ha we can know when the bot is online and when it's not. Perfect. Awesome. Now, what we need to do right now is to show an example to you guys how this message create event works. You already have an idea of what the ready event is. You can also set customer status, but right now we're going to focus on that yet. Go ahead and go here and then do another console like here. And we're going to do a message got sent. And also for message create, we need to also give it an option for message. So we can use it instead of our event. So the message will refer to the message that, that got sent. And a message got sent technically in here. So whenever we send a message anywhere instead of our Discord server that the bot is in, it's going to give us a console log with this. So we're going to try, try it out right now. No dot. Bot is online. So we're going to do test. A message got sent. Or you can spam it as much as you want even. Let's do this. A message got sent. So now you have an idea of what the events are. Events look for something. This is the best way I can explain it to you guys. Events always look to look for something. And then that's pretty much it. So a message got sent. Now we need to set a prefix for the bot. So whenever we use a command instead of our message event, then it's going to respond to it. Pretty simple command. So first of all, make a prefix const prefix is equal to question mark. Then the question mark is our prefix. So you can put anything you want. I'm going to put it like this even anything. It doesn't really matter. Then, um, Go ahead and do if message dot uh, content with the content of the message dot starts with the kind of that should be starts with is prefix. It starts with prefix. Then go ahead and well, you can return this. Obviously, you don't have to do this. Just return it. Return it. And we're also going to do this which stands for if the message are content, the content of the message didn't start with prefix, then return this message event. You don't want the bot to do anything further, basically. Then what you need to do in here again is uh, we need to do if um, hmm, let's let's try command. Let's go ahead and do if message the content was equal equal to um, prefix of the bot technically, which was the, um, let's do this. The, these two are back ticks in case you don't have any on keyboard. If you probably have it, it's like this, it, this should be a back tick. And then the back tick, then we're going to do a dollar sign and then this and then prefix, which means prefix, which we defined it in here. It refers to here, then the command name after it. So the command name will be a test, right? Save it, then add these two brackets in front of it then we need to do message the channel that send your test has worked perfect so we're gonna do no dot now but is online now we're gonna go ahead and try test actually i gotta try this the prefix test your test has worked 
See, it's pretty simple. It's not that one. It's not even that hard. So again, for summarization, we define the prefix for a message create event. Then we said if the message the content, which is a content of a message, didn't start with prefix, then return it. Then we here we said if the message the content was prefix and then test after it, it's gonna send us send us a message saying the test has worked. All right, you have successfully made your Discord bot, and congratulations. You have successfully made your Discord bot and you should be able to make other commands just... I, I recommend just practicing with this. So far you should be able to understand all of these, it's pretty straightforward. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If, you, if this video helped you, go down like the video, subscribe to my channel, and go down and share this video to your friends so they will also learn how to make a Discord bot. If you need help, just go down and join the Discord server. I'll be happy to help every single one of you guys. And I uh, hope I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys!